And uh, Canada, we have a reputation in the UK for being polite, and that is a very deserved reputation, as rude as that sentence sounds. Like, that's fucking right. We're polite. We will thank you when you hold the door for us, which is never, because it's England, and you shut every door. You could be a thief, you're thinking, but no. It's going to get funnier soon. I know some of you are thinking, where are the jokes? They're on their way. you got to be patient. I, uh, yeah, can We are the most polite people. Why? Well, because people constantly mistake us for another country, and we don't ever actually get upset. We kind of just say, like, no, we're not from America. It's Canada, which is like America, but completely different. So, like, what American person just heard of the time? <laughs> yeah, America! That's why you guys have a shitty reputation right there. It's the exact thing. The UN and the dignitary from America. Yeah! <laughs> Fucking right, man! Van Halen and shit! <laughs> Dignitaries, it's like, uh, Brian Adams. Now, uh, <laughs> yeah. but I recently realized that uh, living in England, I've lived in England now for eight months, I realized that all of you, the English, British, UK people, you should know the difference between Canada and America. Canada, you've put us through nothing but shit, and we've given you nothing but good times. We were loyal subjects that you left in the snow with your mortal enemies, the French. But you kicked your murderers and rapists out to paradise so they could ride Kanga fucking roofs. We're Canada. We're the only country that immediately joined up with you in World War I and World War II where we earned the nickname the Stormtroopers. How we got that nickname, it's a pretty cute story, is uh, you guys had this great way of killing the Germans. What you would do is you would bomb their trenches as troops stood at the lip of the trench. Now, you didn't want to use British troops for this maneuver because you would have murdered them with your bombs. So you got the Canadians to do it, and we said yes, because we're fucking polite. <laughs> Canada, we're the only Commonwealth country that still pays into the British tax system, which means we contributed to the London 2012 Olympics, the Jubilee celebration, and William and Kate's wedding. And we didn't get to win a gold last August, or see a photo of Kate topless on our newspapers. <laughs> you left that to the Irish, and they fucking hate you. <laughs> And yet, I'm not allowed the same linguistic latitude. If I'm talking to any one of you after the show, and we happen to be chatting back and forth, I might say something like, hey, what's it like growing up in London? Then you turn on your heels, London! I'm not from London! I'm from Manchester! Can't you tell by my accent? No, motherfuckers, I can't. They all sound the same to me.